Hey y'all, it's Caitlin, and this is Collector Swap number five. So this is a event pretty much that gets put on uh, a few times a year by Mama J. Uh, basically, Funko and comic channels come together and we all sign up for the swap and it's basically like a Secret Santa kind of thing. Uh, and this is the fifth one that has been done officially. And this is the third no, fourth one I've been a part of. Uh, I missed the first one. But this is always really fun. And uh, again, it's more like a secret San Santa kind of thing. We're not supposed to know who sent this. Although I have a pretty good idea who sent mine. But uh, anyway, guys. <clears throat> I know i uploading this on a Monday. And this is the first day of the swap videos. There's going to be five days of swaps uh, videos in total. So all 79 of us will be spreading our videos out over the next week so no one can say they don't have anything to watch this next week because you have tons and tons of videos to go check out for the swap itself if i can get this open and also in the description box below will be a link to every single channel uh that is participating in the swap but also uh on mama j's channel she will have a playlist going on as videos get uploaded uh so you can all just sit back and watch them through her playlist if you want. So let's open this up and check this out. Oh, ooh, I see wrapping paper. So my person made it a little bit fun, which makes sense. Cause uh, again, <clears throat> I know this person and she's a little bit fun. So <laughs> she's a lot of bit fun. So let's see, let's just bring it all out first. So look at this Trolls wrapping paper. This is like from Trolls 2. Hashtag never seen it, but I re recognize it. And oh, hell, <gasps> she sent, or I'm saying she, if I'm right, it's a she. Coffee crisp? This is the, that, uh, I may be wrong actually about who sent this. Because the person I'm thinking about isn't Canadian. They, uh, Mama J did open it up this time around, uh, <clears throat> for Canadian collectors. I think there's three Canadian channels involved in the swap. Uh, so this is cool. So I got two coffee crisps. I've been wanting to try these because Tylock and Cherie, they got, <laughs> they have more friends in Canada, apparently, than me. And they keep raving about those things. So definitely be trying that later. And then I have another little box. Another little box. Everything is, like, covered in, like, packing peanuts. But there's a lot of stuff. I'm not even done. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is crazy. All these little bitty boxes. I'm not... I even forgot to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Trying to keep the peanuts contained too. And then a few more extra little goodies. Like loose goodies in the back. So here's an open last. And then... There are some out-of-box little goodies. So we also have watermelon Pop Rocks. Those are always fun. I actually put Pop Rocks on like milkshakes and ice creams and stuff. <clears throat> That's just what I do with them. Krispy Kreme Jelly Belly Donuts. Or Jelly Belly Jelly... Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. There we go. I finally got it. That looks cute. I've never tried these before. So that's awesome. I love donuts. I love Krispy Kreme. So that should work out perfectly. And then we have another jelly beans. We have Cold Stone ice cream. I love Cold Stone, but they don't have a location around here. I have a Krispy Kreme. I do not have Cold Stone. And this freaking awesome lanyard. Uh, One Love. So it's a pride lanyard. That looks cool. Definitely be rocking that at like cons and stuff. So that is freaking awesome. So let me make sure that's everything. Yes. Everything else in the box is packing peanuts, so I have no clue where to start. <laughs> so let's just grab one and do it. Uh, so. Oh, sweet! Yes! This is Tokidoki Blind Bag. Tokidoki Series 5. This is the, well, it's not a unicorn. It's the Myrmicorno series. This is freaking awesome. If anyone doesn't know, the reason why my channel is Funko Pops at Unicorns is because originally I was going to do two things. Funko Pop reviews and customizing the Unicornos and Myrmicornos from the Tokidoki line. I do have videos up 
uh, from very early on of me customizing a few of them, but they didn't take off. Customizing pops are more fun to watch, I guess. But, but I kept the name, and I still love collecting these figures, so let's, I'm just ripping into it. I want to know who I got. <clears throat> so, I don't think... I haven't gotten any of this line. I've been actually very lazy about collecting these lately. So... They usually have pull tabs. And this one, for some reason, does not. So... Okay. And you can get, like, chase figures and stuff in this one, but I... Oh, this is gorgeous. So this one's name, this is not a chaser, but this is Stinger. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. So people are talking upstairs, so I hope hopefully you guys aren't like hearing them. So let me move the trash off to the side. So let's do this longer one. It feels like a plush or a t-shirt or something. Oh, it's socks. <laughs> oh, it's Wonder Woman socks. Hell yes. This is awesome. I always wear nerdy socks. I don't have any, well, I do have a few like a uh, thicker winter pair, like normal socks, but that is cool. I always wear like nerd socks. So that is Awesome. So, so far, it's people, someone who knows that I love Wonder Woman and unicorns. So, which isn't that hard to figure out if you know me. So, I love the wrap job. I didn't, I wrapped mine in tissue paper this time because I was being a little bit more uh, lazy about it. Okay, so this person isn't from Canada. She just somehow got those. But I didn't think so because these... Our New York Cars, Daron, World Trading Inc. I've never heard of this company before. But this is freaking cool. So you have a New York City fire truck and a New York City taxi cab. That is actually very, very cool. One of the things that we were supposed to put in the swap, one, we were supposed to do uh, at least five different items. Uh, like we could put multiples of the same items, but it had to be at least five different in total. Like you could put like two pops in there as long as you had four different other products uh but one of them had to be something related to where you came from and this person did a lot better than i did because all i did <laughs> all i did was find like a little one of those uh buttons like pin buttons uh with the i already saw a razor back on it for my <laughs> i didn't know what else to put but anyway those are freaking awesome i absolutely love those so again so i'm back to knowing exactly who sent this in fact Hell, I might know what's in the big flat bath box. And if that's what I think it is, dude. Okay, so this is another one of those uh, Myrmacorno Series 5. So let's go ahead and take, get this open again. I should probably save the blind bags for the end, but honestly, guys, I'm not that patient <laughs> at all. I mean, just for example, I uh, got this box in today, and I'm already opening it. And it's like three weeks or something until we have to upload so they didn't put the hair tabs on this one okay oh this is gorgeous shouldn't have been the box away this one is flower princess so this one looks almost like an indian design this is very very pretty if I get any doubles of these, I'm definitely customizing it. Or maybe they're more, must be more Egyptian. I don't know. You guys let me know. They've already done an Egyptian one, one. So this one's probably Indian. It looks more Indian. I'm going with Indian. <laughs> that looks beautiful. The sculpting on Toki Doki, not just like a lot of people go crazy over their packaging, and their packaging is amazing. But the amount of detail they put into their sculpts are also just incredible. And here's another Toki Doki. So this is a different series though. I actually wanted to get some of these because this is their lunar uh, calendar series. They've actually started doing a uh, Zodiac series where it's not a blind box, it's like you get visible product. But this one they made into a blind box series so you can get one of every animal from the Chinese New Year. If I, it's been a while since I actually 
looked it up, but I think I was born in the year of the rooster, so it'd be really cool to get that one. Uh, but the snake looks amazing, so let's just see which one I got. Or the pig. Is there a pig one? There has to be a pig one. Yes, there is a pig one. The only reason I would want the pig is because Pokemon... <laughs> They actually have this thing where the fire type starters from every region are based off the Chinese New Year. And Tepig is my favorite fire type starter. <laughs> In basic form anyway. So it'd be kind of cool to get Tepig. And... Uh, oh, I got the cow. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's wearing a little like onesie or something. The hair, the mane on the unicorns blends into this little hat. <laughs> that is cute. Oh my gosh, and it's got sakuras, sakura flowers or cherry blossoms on the side of it. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this. Again, it, the, the rooster would have been cool just because that was the year I was born in. But this is freaking awesome. I absolutely love that. I want another one so that I can repaint it. Ah, uh, you're gonna, okay, here's another one, sweet. So this person is gonna get me back into collecting Tokidoki, which I'm, I never stopped, I just slowed down heavily. I am loving this so much. Oh, and by the way, I've always loved how Tokidoki puts on their packages. This is not a toy, it's collectible art. Uh-huh, sure. Keep telling yourself that. <clears throat> Meanwhile, guess where they are every year? Toy Fair. <laughs> Wait, do they have names or is it just... Yeah, it's just the year of the whatever. So that was just the year of the cow. Or sorry, the year of the ox, they're saying. Whatever. Same thing. And I got the monkey. <laughs> Oh my god, this is adorable. Guys, look. There's a little monkey on its head with a little tail. So, look, so you have the face of the actual unicorn. -o. You have the uh, hair slash hat thing. And then you have the monkey. So it's almost like... I, I wonder if they did that on purpose to make it look like three in a row. Like, hear no evil, see no evil, uh, speak no evil. That is cool. That is gorgeous. You can't tell me otherwise. I absolutely love this, and I love this person for sending me all these little Tokidoki goodies. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. Then there's no more Tokidoki shaped boxes. So <gasps> awesome, Sailor Moon. Oh, so these are those cute little uh, Sailor Moon keychains. I have some of these. I have. I have the Outer Scouts, but I don't have any Sailor Moon or the Inner Scouts, or Senshi, whichever way you want to call it. I was used to the dubbed version growing up, so I still say Scouts, even though it's supposed to be Senshi. Sorry, I got interrupted. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but anyway, I've gotten uh, the Outer Senshi somewhere, but I do not have any Sailor Moon. So I'm not going to open this right now, guys, because you can clearly see what it is. It's the Sailor Moon on top of her brooch. But that is absolutely amazing i love that i've actually forgotten these exist because you don't see them very often anymore at least i don't i used to see them a lot in hot topic but if you guys know me you know what happened to my hot topic but anyway <laughs> it ain't there no more but anyway oh so cool so let me get this out if i can sweet so this is a wonder woman pez justice league pez and I actually really like this comic look of Diana. It's not super, like, it's it's not the current one, like the modern one. But it's more modern than what you would see just a normal Wonder Woman as regularly with that sash and the cape. So that is cool. This is definitely going on the Wonder Woman shelf. Absolutely awesome. And I actually don't, I don't have any Pez dispensers on the Wonder Woman shelf yet. So that will be the first. And it's freshly dusted, more or less. So, that won't be a problem. Now this... Let's see, let's see if I'm right in this, the shape and the feel of this. I have an idea of what this thing is. And this is the last little piece here. And it's 
wrapped up again. Good thing I still got the knife out. So I gotta be careful with this. Well, it's what I thought. Oh my God. But I'm, I'm actually opening it from the back so I can't see exactly what it is. Other than the fact that it's a DC. This is a CGC, CGC comic book. And it's Wonder Woman. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wonder Woman number 73. Wow. This is a variant cover. Because I have the actual cover for this. So this actually matches. It's kind of like the same Wonder Woman of the Pez. This is amazing. Uh, I haven't even put up my other <laughs> CGC uh, comic yet. Uh, I still have to set, put it up on the wall. I did finally find my command strips to do it. But now I have two that I can put up. Oh my gosh, girl. Where did you find this? This is amazing. This is gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. I mean, come on. I don't have, other than the one that I literally just bought, um, I don't have any other uh, slabs in my collection until now. So this, this is absolutely amazing. And uh, I, I, I'm kind of speechless, honestly, on that one. So this person knows me very well. <laughs> she knows my fandoms. And again, I know exactly who this is from. And if you guys couldn't guess by now, this is Silver Haired Wolf. Uh, Clara, awesome person, awesome friend. So let's see what little goodie she sent. Little, oops, her stickers fell out. <gasps> little uh, kitty cat right there. Caitlin, I do not have a creative. I think it was supposed to be bone, but you said born in my body i i you know i'm having trouble reading don't don't make spelling mistakes like that and throw me off even more but no i make up for it with love i i know honey so this box was packed with tons of love i was so happy to get you for the swap i hope hope you love what i sent you love always clara and she did put her little pin right there and looks like she sent over a spare janky uh sticker and then few other stickers. I have this one with her and her little uh, fur babies. And then here's her newest like updated logo. And here's the one with her like in uh, Times Square, whatever. I can't, I'm sorry. I don't know New York, but this is freaking amazing. Uh, Clara, you definitely know me. And this, this box was packed amazingly. Again, you packed it better than I did because I just used tissue wrap and bubble wrap. <laughs> And that was it. And I didn't even wrap it good. I literally just wadded it up and stuck it in the box. So I'm sorry for the person who got me. But this is really freaking awesome. I'll definitely be putting this little uh, pin on my uh, pin board over here. I have a pin board now right on uh, the side here on this door. So that's where that is going to go as soon as I'm done here. This was an amazing, amazing box. And I cannot thank you enough. I mean, come on. Everything from the unicornos to the Wonder Woman stuff to the freaking CGC slab. I mean, amazing. I, I was actually going to start going through my comic collection um, this week and seeing what all I could, like, put up for sale or all those that I would actually like to go and, like, send them off to be graded. Um... So th this is actually, I, again, I'm, I'm kind of speechless over this. I honestly am. Uh, I've gotten very lucky in the past two swaps to be paired up with someone who uh, knows me, who I'm friends with. I, uh, Juliana got me in the last swap, and now Clara got me in this one. So this is just amazing, and I absolutely love you, Clara. You know that. Um, so this is freaking cool. I got candy to last me for days. This, this is just awesome. So, guys, Silverhead Wolf's uh, link will be in the description box below, along with everyone else who is participating in this swap. And, again, it's going to be a week-long uh, event almost. And uh, make sure, guys, when Mama J's video gets posted, go in there and ask her, or just uh, not ask her, but, like, tell her thank you for putting this all 
together because she really does put a lot of work into this. Uh, the chat leaders, myself, Sassy, and Mitchy, we help her out a little bit, uh, but she's really the one putting in a lot of time and effort to get these swaps put together and make sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to do um, during the swap. So she really puts in a lot of work. And so please go over there and say thank you to her when her video gets posted. Uh, Cause this, this is, this is amazing. I absolutely love it. And also when uh, Clara's video comes out, make sure to go over there and say thank you from me. Cause I definitely will. I'll be messaging her right after this. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to participate in another uh, collector swap whenever Mama J uh, decides to do the next one. She will be posting it on IG, so make sure you are following her and uh, also myself and several others because a lot of us share the post around uh, when it's ready for signups again. So anyway guys, again check out all the videos in the description box below or all the links in the description box below. Check out that playlist on Mama J's channel and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. We're like always the community not competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.